Hi everybody, welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. We're here today, and you've already seen the Yamaha Viper on the channel, individual review, but we thought we'd have some fun, so we brought a Challenger. Now this is my sled, it is a 2016 Skidoo Renegade Sport, but we thought we would run them side by side and see how they compare. The big differences here, of course, are four-stroke and two-stroke, and a couple other little things that we're gonna show you. So why don't we get going? So for anybody that's new to the sport of snowmobiling, we're gonna cover the basics here of two-stroke and four-stroke. If you've been doing this for years, you got this. You don't need the explanation, so forgive the simplicity. But over here on my sled, we have a two-stroke engine. Now, what does that mean? The nearest relative I can compare it to would be your lawnmower engine. It is a very simple design, carbureted engine that just draws in fuel, compresses, ignites, and exhausts. Now, it does all of that in two strokes, up and down up and down. Every single two strokes is one full cycle. Over here on the four stroke engine, we do exactly the same thing, but in four strokes. And to give you a similar comparison or a distant cousin, it is similar to your car engine. Now, in so much, it is doing an intake stroke, a compression stroke, a power stroke, and an exhaust stroke. It has to do two full revolutions to accomplish the same thing as my smaller two stroke engine. So what the heck does all of that mean? Well, it means that here in my Skidoo, my two-cylinder 600cc versus the Yamaha three-cylinder 1000cc make almost the exact same horsepower. Now, the four-stroke engine is gonna be heavier, but with that weight, you get better fuel economy and better efficiency. My two-stroke, as much as I love it, is definitely dirtier, and it definitely chews through more fuel and oil to accomplish the same amount of riding that you get on the Yamaha. Hey folks, well now that Matt the mechanic has gone over all the boring stuff, I'm here to go over all the fun stuff. So I just want to talk to you about what specifically we have here today. This is the 2021 Yamaha SR Viper GT package, and that GT means we get a whole bunch of really nice luxury features. A heated seat, really nice heated handlebars, a really nice digital display up here. This thing is fully loaded. And over here we have Matthew Sled. This is a 2016 Renegade Sport. It's a much more basic package, but it does have all the features you need. Features like electric start, heated handlebars, and reverse. Those are really the basics you need on a sled, and this Skidoo has them. Now that brings us to pricing. So this 2021 Yamaha SR Viper costs $16,599 in Canada and $14,499 in the US. Now when this Skidoo was brand new, it cost about $8,200 in the US. Now that is another key difference between two-stroke and four-stroke. A two-stroke is much simpler and it will always be cheaper. You know what? That's enough of us talking now though. Let's get out there and hit the trail and we will tell you actually in the real world how these two compare. differences here are clear. Now we've been over kind of the general four stroke versus two stroke differences and all of them played out in the real world. The biggest one has to be weight. This Yamaha is heavy. How heavy? Sadly I don't know. Yamaha doesn't publish weight numbers for their sleds. It's a little bit frustrating <laughs> to be honest but this thing has to have 200 pounds on your sled. Easy the, if not more. The butt of the joke in the snowmobiling world is if you buy a Yamaha you know you're it's heavy yeah. like, and that's nothing new that's like a t going on what a 15 20 year old joke now fair enough so anyways um, that's the defining characteristic here out there in those corners this thing just wants to push through every single corner it doesn't really kind of just turn in tight kind of like your skidoo does I right mean, my my sled comes in somewhere around 425 450 pounds and it is a lot lighter like i mean just to kind of throw it around for a full-size sled doesn't take all that much effort and i mean it bites in the corner it doesn't like totally. to push this machine does feel extra planted and again that has to do with the weight right yeah um but in the deep powder it doesn't get the float that i found yours does 
So this Viper here is a 1,000cc four-stroke. That's good, it was only a 600cc two-stroke, but the power here is basically the exact same. This is about 125 horsepower. The Skidoo is probably, you know, between 115 and 120, so it's down a couple horsepower. But then if you look at power to weight, the Skidoo feels better. And again, that plays out out there on the trail. When you lay into this thing, the, the power is right there. The four-stroke, the power comes on more gradually, and it's more there in the top end. But on the low end and the whole shot, yeah, you can't really compare them. The Skidoo takes it. Taking off the line, I definitely felt I got out of the hole quicker. Yeah, for sure. absolutely. But when we swapped and I rode a little on there, I thought to myself, top end, you've probably got me beat. Because I gas out somewhere around 7,000, 7,500 RPM. There's just, I got more throttle thumb, but there's not much left to give. Yeah, fair enough. And ultimately, that is where the difference comes in. You're, you've got better fuel efficiency, more reliability, longevity, but I've got more power out of the hole. And it really boils down to what do you prefer? What do you need? What situation are you in that you need that right off the, st the hop? Yeah. I mean, mountain guys two-stroke getting out of the hole right away but if i'm exactly. on the trail all day does it matter that much yeah it's exactly it's what you want to go what you want to do with them and then you got to talk price right again this is way more expensive you're going to pay more for the four-stroke so yeah it comes down to what you're going to do with the sled of course you want to see how those power differences actually play out in the real world so we're here in my backyard matt and i did a little hole shot drag race just to give you a sense of which is quicker Well, there you guys go. It took a couple of tries, but the Skidoo on that race finally kept up with the Yamaha. Now, honestly, out here, it's been all about traction. This Skidoo off the line has so much power, but you end up just spinning the track so much, it doesn't hook up. Plus, it's lightweight. That Yamaha is so heavy, it just hooks up with the trail. That's also why we switch machines, because I'm the heavier guy. So me on the Skidoo, I got more traction out of it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting how these two took off. Ultimately, in the debate between two-stroke and four-stroke, it really comes down to what do you need and how much are you willing to pay, but really, you're gonna have a ton of fun no matter which option you choose. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Matt. Snowmobiling is the absolute best. If you've never done it, go get yourself a sled and now. give it a shot. So everybody, that's it for this video. Uh, please now go below, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this debate. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. And it's a beautiful day today, so Matt and I got more riding to do. See ya!